is a part of Liberty Global, and Liberty Global is a significant shareholder of Formula E. This must be a special day for you to have this race here in Zurich. Well, as uh, Switzerland is one of our home countries with uh, various businesses around the world, particularly in Europe, we're very pleased to have it here in Zurich. It's an exciting day, and we have beautiful weather, and we're going to have an exciting race. Where do you see the future of this series of Formula E? Well, we were one of the early investors, Liberty Global, which UPC is part of. And uh, the, the future is really in uh, uh, electric cars, uh, either hybrid or fully electric. I owned a Tesla. It's a, a fantastic car, and, and uh, I think uh, it'll get better and better. Uh, the future of the sport, though, is uh, going to advance as well. Next year, next season, the car will go faster. It will approach 300 kilometers an hour from a speed that is not as fast uh, today. Uh, also, uh, they will no longer have to do that driver pit stop in the middle, which was a novel idea and is uh, actually very uh, entertaining, which is good for television because uh, it could be like a bad pit stop if the driver doesn't bounce out and bounce back into the car in the middle of the race. So next year that won't be necessary as the battery technology has evolved. You see a prosperous future for Formula E, and you are a racing expert through your son, which is a uh, racing car driver. Um, how do you uh, live your passion for, for uh, PS? Well, you know, it's been a, a journey with my son, but uh, I think uh, as it relates to uh, racing uh, and Formula E, the television, uh, the racing is, makes fantastic television. Uh, and I've learned a lot about motorsports uh, through Ryan's journey. I was just uh, looking at the photos of him starting his career in 2011 at the Formula One race weekend in Montreal. And he just sent an Instagram out uh, reminiscing on the excitement of that journey because he started very late to motorsports. We were passionate about ice hockey and skiing and other sports. Uh, so racing wasn't in my blood, but it's certainly in his. He, uh, uh, it's his journey, it's his passion, uh, and uh, he's uh, been on a, a fast uh, learning curve and now racing within the F1 system as one of the uh, top drivers in GP3. And he uh, uh, is uh, driving to uh, win the championship this year so that he can uh, pursue his dream of F1. Uh, but in motorsports, there's lots of other options, including Formula E, and uh, other uh, motorsports uh, categories. Let's talk about you. When you are out in the streets, are you a racing driver sometimes too? Uh, not really, especially in Switzerland. That's a, a big problem if you uh, go too fast. Uh, the cameras are everywhere. Although I have been known to get an occasional uh, Sounds ticket, like you ticket have to in the learn, mail. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, even my son Ryan, he drives very, uh, very modestly when he's on the roads uh, uh, because he can get his jollies out, uh, obviously, on the racetrack. How will you spend your day uh, from now on, the race day? Well, uh, today we have uh, quite a few of our uh, UPC B2B customers uh, with us. Uh, to share the festivities and the excitement of uh, the race starting at 6 o'clock. Uh, so mostly I'll be spending time with them, uh, meeting some of my Liberty colleagues, and um, yeah, just uh, enjoying the day. Enjoy your time and enjoy the race. Thank well, you very much. It's great to be here. Thanks, Thank Steph. You.